why the stars appear in the sky? Or why sometimes there are so many of them that you can't even count them, and other times they are as few as the fingers on your hands? It's just the time to tell you a big secret. All stars in the night sky are good deeds that people do during the day. And during the daytime, the sun keeps the good deeds from being forgotten. To do that, the sun has a very big, thick book where it writes down everything it has seen. For example, a girl in a sandbox allowed a boy to play with her bucket and shovel. And the sun saw that and wrote it down in its book. It was a good deed, so it will appear in the sky as a small star. Or imagine that a boy stood up for his friend who had a quarrel with some older children. It was a bold act and in its honor a big and very bright star will appear in the sky. The deeds can be different, so the stars in the sky are also different. Believe me, every child on our planet and every good deed he does will not go unnoticed. Even the moon has an important place in this mystery. The moon is a symbol of the kindest and most sincere deed. You should do your best to win such an honor. Do you want your star to light up in the sky? Get comfortable in your bed and listen to me carefully. In one big city, a kind little boy lived. Every morning, he woke up in a good mood with a smile on his face. And it was because he always obeyed his parents and went to bed on time. On waking up, he ran to the bathroom and brushed his teeth. His dragon-shaped toothbrush and raspberry-flavored toothpaste awaited him in the transparent glass. His parents always told him that he had to brush his teeth for at least two minutes. They even put a special sand timer on the shelf. The little boy loved doing everything himself. He turned the sand timer upside down and started brushing his teeth. And during the process, he even managed to think about what he was going to do during the day. The boy remembered that his parents had a day off and they promised to take him to the park. There on the lake, beautiful ducks swam. He enjoyed feeding them white bread that he and his dad usually bought at the store in advance. After breakfast, the entire family took their bicycles. Dad helped the boy into a special seat and they started out. Mom, keep up with us! At that time, a lot of people tried to get to the park to breathe fresh air and enjoy the nature. The little boy met his friend on the way and waved to him. He also went for a walk with his parents. Within a short time, they came to the park. Dad locked up his and mom's bikes and led the way. At the entrance, the boy saw a crying girl. She was in tears and pointed at something above her. 
there an orange balloon was floating across the sky. That poor girl couldn't keep the balloon in her small hands, and it flew away. The little boy felt sorry for the girl, but his mom told him to hurry up, and they turned around the corner. There were tall trees along the road, and bright yellow butterflies were fluttering over the green grass. It was very difficult to catch them. The little boy had already tried to do that earlier, but instead of a butterfly, he only got a handful of grass. In front of them, around the next corner, an ice cream man was selling his treats. In his van, cheerful music always played, and there was a long line of shouting children. Raspberry flavor for me, please. And a strawberry one for me. And I want that blue one. Children asked their parents to buy them some of their favorite ice cream. And the little boy liked the orange one best of all. His dad knew about it, so he didn't even ask the boy, but just took money out of his wallet and gave it to his son. You remember that the little boy liked doing everything himself? That is why he bought ice cream by himself, too. Soon his turn came. The boy gave the man his money and got two scoops of orange ice cream in a waffle cone with thick chocolate syrup. Having bought the ice cream, he and his parents moved along. But suddenly, the little boy heard the ice cream man say to somebody that he had no more orange ice cream. He turned his head and saw a child who was very upset. He didn't get the orange ice cream he liked so much. The child cried quietly and hugged his mother's leg. The little boy looked at his parents. They were walking in front of him, having their adult conversation. So he ran fast to the child's parents and gave them his ice cream. Take it, please. I haven't eaten any yet, and your child will like it for sure. The child's parents smiled at him in surprise, said thanks to the generous boy, and accepted the gift. The child stopped crying, and the little boy got back the money for the ice cream and ran after his mom and dad. Of course, the sun in the sky saw the good deed that the boy had done. It opened its big book wrote a word there, and smiled. The sun enjoyed watching children from above, and more than that, it liked writing down their good deeds in the book. As the boy walked, he thought that he liked to help people very much, especially little children like him. Very soon, they reached a small lake. Near the shore, a duck swam, who looked very important, and its small ducklings followed it. The ducklings, one by one, put their heads in the water and tried to find some food. There were more than ten of them, and every duckling looked different. Some had white tails. Some of them swam quickly. Others swam slowly. 
As mom and dad sat on a bench, the little boy took from his bag a bun that he had brought especially for the ducks and walked up to the shore of the lake. Then he climbed up to the embankment and started to break off pieces of the bun. This piece is for you, small slow duckling. And this piece is for you, mother duck. A satisfied duck and its ducklings were swimming near the embankment while a little girl stood nearby and ate a white bun. Of course, the son noticed the boy's good deed. That's a good boy. And another note was made. It was close to midday and it was time to come back home for lunch. Mom and Dad called the little boy and got ready to leave. They passed the ice cream van with cheerful music and a long line of children. Then they went past a green lawn where bright yellow butterflies were flying and approached the exit. There, the little boy again saw the girl who had lost hold of her balloon. She was sitting on the bench next to her mother and was still sad. Her mother suggested they walk on the path, but the girl looked away. Then she suggested they go to the lake, but the girl said nothing again. While the little boy's dad was unlocking the bikes, he took the money that he had received for his ice cream out of his pocket and ran to the man who was selling balloons. Can I get that bright green balloon? Good choice, kid. Here you go. Then the little boy ran to the girl and presented her with the balloon. The girl's happiness had no limits. This time she held the green balloon tightly and didn't let it go. And the girl's mom thanked the boy and smiled at his parents. Yes, they saw it too and were proud of their son's deed. And up above, the sun also saw that deed. It opened its big heavy book again and made a note. My, how many of them had it made that day? As many as three. After that, the little boy and his parents returned home in a good mood. There they had a nice meal and rested. And in the evening, they watched an interesting cartoon together about a funny rabbit. The little boy enjoyed watching TV together with his parents. Pretty soon, it was time to get ready for bed. The little boy once again brushed his teeth by himself and went to his bedroom. But before going to bed, he walked to the window and looked at the night sky. That night, there were lots of stars in the sky. Moreover, the full moon was shining brightly in the sky. The moon smiled and winked at the little boy because it was shining so brightly in honor of his good deeds. The boy didn't know about that mystery. He only liked to be kind. He followed his heart and was happy. 
The little boy got into bed and covered himself with a soft blanket. His mom kissed him and said good night. In life, it's essential to be kind both to yourself and the people around you. We should help not only people, but animals as well. Then your star is sure to shine in the sky. And has the sun written down your deeds in its book today? Do you think your star has come out in the sky tonight? There are a lot of stars tonight, and one of them may belong to you. Now close your eyes and think about the good and helpful deeds you are going to do tomorrow. Go to sleep.